Hey, this is Eric. Now, as educators, one of our goals is to try to prepare our students for their future to help them be whatever they want to be. Sometimes though, especially for students that are struggling academically, it can be difficult for students to visualize that positive future. What if we could give them a vivid personal glimpse into their own potential? Perhaps with a picture that shows them working as a marine biologist, tagging a sea turtle by a coral reef, or maybe a photo of them as an architect, personally sketching designs in a studio, or a teacher, or an athlete, or chef, or singer, or doctor, or such. Well, with AI, we can do that. With Gemini's latest image model, you can take a picture of a student and show what they would look like working in their dream career. And you can do it easily, accurately, and safely. Let's take a look at how to do this. So how do we do this activity? Well, all we need is a photo of a student and a prompt. Here is the prompt that I created for this, and you are welcome to copy, modify, use this any way that you need. And of course, you can copy this prompt directly from the blog post I have linked in the description below this video. All right, let's take a look at the prompt. It says, create a photorealistic image of this student, but as a fill in the blank, whatever job, career, occupation they want to do, where they are actively and expertly involved in the job. The setting should be authentic and detailed, clearly representing the profession. As needed, show them using the tools or equipment associated with the job and wearing the clothing, outfit, or gear appropriate for the occupation. Now, at this point, you can add in some more details. We may see some examples of that. Feel free to flesh this out with specifics about the setting or what they're doing or things like that. And then it concludes with uh, the image should be positive, inspiring, and high quality. The student should be the same age as they currently are in the reference photo so that they look the same age in the generated photo. Ensure that the student's face is clearly visible. All right, let's try it out. First, we're gonna head over to the Gemini website at gemini.google.com, or you can do this in the Gemini mobile app as well. Now, we are gonna use Gemini for this project for several good reasons. First, Gemini has a new image model, uh, codenamed Nano Banana, uh, that is exceptionally good at modifying existing images. Uh, we can upload a photo, so here I'll drag and drop a picture of myself uh, into here. Um, and then we can ask Gemini to change that photo, you know, change the environment or the outfit or the viewing angle. Uh, in this case, let's do this. Let's say show this man as a giant attacking a city like in the old Godzilla movies. Have the view be from down on the street level, looking up at the giant man as he's stomping between the city skyscrapers with his arms raised in the air and shouting. Uh, and uh, we can choose from our tools uh, the uh, new Nano Banano uh, image generation feature. And that's it. Go ahead and submit that. And there we go, and we've we've got the picture. So Gemini is very good at being able to change the image while maintaining consistency with the original person uh, from the reference photo. This is something that AI models were not very good at until just recently. And for a second reason, when you use Gemini with a school account, Gemini protects the data privacy of the student's photo. Now, I recently did a blog post and a video on this, and I'll drop the link into the description below this video. But in short, Google has an agreement with schools that anything you enter, including student photos, will stay within your school's domain. Nothing that you enter into Gemini is viewed by humans or used for advertising or used to train future models or shared with anyone outside of your school. Now, make sure to explain this data privacy agreement with parents before doing this project. And finally, it's free. <laughs> yes, you can use Gemini to modify existing images at no cost. So, let's try it out. 
All right, so we're back here at the Gemini website. And first of all, we need to upload our student photo. We can do this by clicking the plus button and then choosing upload files. Or we can just simply drag and drop the picture into the prompt box, which is what I am going to do right there. Now, quick heads up, uh, the student photos that I'm using in this are not real students. All of these initial student photos are actually AI generated. All right, next up, we need to paste in the prompt that we were uh, using earlier. So let's drop that in there. And now we need to modify that as need be. So uh, in this case, let's see, let's say for our occupation, we're going to say the student wants to be a marine biologist. Um, and then um, if again, if we want to, we can, you know, flesh this out a little bit more like here where it says add more details as needed. Let's say for this particular one, we're going to say something like, in this case, the student should be tagging a sea turtle by a coral reef and wearing appropriate underwater gear. Excellent. There we go. Uh, next up, we're going to go down to our tools uh, menu and choose uh, the create images option to get nano banana there. Uh, and then that's it. We'll go ahead and submit this prompt with this reference image. And there we go. We've got it. Excellent. There is our image uh, looking just like the original student, but now as a marine biologist. And of course, we can download this image. Just come up here and click on the little download button in the top right hand corner of that generated image to download the full size version of the new image. All right, let's take a look at a couple examples. Of course, we've got our marine biologist that we were just taking a look at. Uh, but next up, here we go. We have a student who wants to be a chef when he grows up. And then next up, we have a student who would like to be a veterinarian. Very nice. Next up, we have a student who would like to be a firefighter when he grows up. And then we have another student who is thinking about becoming a pilot. And then finally, one more student. In this case, he would like to be an artist when he grows up. Now, in addition to creating these images, there's a lot of things you can do with your students to extend and deepen their learning both before and after the project. Before the project, you can have your students brainstorm which careers they may be interested in or take an interest inventory to see which careers might be good options for them. Or maybe even use a tool like School AI, which has their career exploration chat bot, where the students can ask questions about different careers and learn more about them. Now, when they do select their career, they can help you to expand the prompt that you will be using with details on what will they do in their job, the setting, special equipment, and more. Now, after the new pictures have been created, have the students do something with the generated image. For example, have them write about their future selves and what they are doing in their career and what skills they have developed and perhaps even present that to the class. Now, although this is certainly a fun activity, there's actually more to it than just that. The concept of helping students visualize their future selves is actually supported by research, specifically the possible selves theory developed by Hazel Marcus and Paula Nurius. In short, our possible selves are the versions of ourselves that we imagine becoming, which includes both the hopes that we hold and the fears that we carry. For many students, especially those struggling academically or facing socioeconomic challenges, these hoped-for selves can be vague or difficult to envision. A concrete, personalized image could help cut through that unknown. It might possibly transform the thought of, well, maybe someday I could be a veterinarian into, hey, look, that's me, I'm a veterinarian. This can be powerful, providing motivation and a clear goal and strengthening their self-belief. And that's it. This is a great project that can be used with students of any age to get them thinking about careers and visualizing a positive version of their future selves. As always, please share your questions and suggestions. 
Thanks so much. And if you made it this far, please consider liking and subscribing, accessing all of my resources at controlaltachieve.com, and connecting with me at bit.ly slash caa-connect, where you'll find my email, social media links, newsletter, and more.